osteochondral defect is a defect in the cartilage of the, of the ankle. They can occur in any joint, but specifically we're talking about ankles today. And think of it almost like a divot. If you're on a golf course and you knock out a piece of grass and a piece of clay, it's that little divot that's really been knocked out of the articulating surface of the joint. So the problem about that is the bone will often heal, but cartilage just has no propensity to heal on its own. And so that really sets up the environment where um, patients can develop arthritis. The ankle is very different than the knee or the hip because in the knee or hip you can just develop arthritis de novo. But in the ankle you can't. You have to have a trauma to develop arthritis. So these osteochondral lesions have been really implicated in developing arthritis in the ankle. Surgical treatment of an osteochondral lesion is, um, is really based on the size of the lesion. And it's interesting, we have a group of um, over 40 surgeons from all over the world. We looked at this, you know, what size is the critical size that you need to start looking at osteochondral lesions surgically. And we've come up with this algorithm. So if it's less than a centimeter, you can try and repair or allow the body to repair itself. If it's greater than a centimeter, that reparative tissue isn't very good, so therefore you need to replace it with a graft or something like that. So when we talk about repair, again, if we go back to the analogy that this is just a, a divot of grass and, and clay, now what we're doing is we use tiny little holes, so it's almost like we're aerating the clay and allowing, um, allowing the body to grow into those holes and create a scar tissue in there. Um, that scar tissue traditionally had done very well, but it didn't last very long. So patients at around two years, they were beginning to lose this fibrous ingrowth, or this almost like a grout, a physiological grout in there. So then we collaborated with um, Cornell University, and we looked at different ways. How can you make that better? Is there a biologic that you can use and that we can make that better? So we looked at bone marrow aspirate. So we take a bone marrow aspirate, um, during surgery, which is painless to the, to the patient. And in that bone marrow, there's lots of different things, including stem cells and growth factors, and these things called anti-inflammatories, which really reduce all this inflammation within the joint. That combination, when used in surgery to repair, has been really terrific. It, it's extended the life of the repair, and patients are doing far better because of it. But the larger lesions, those lesions that are a centimeter or greater, they don't do well. Even with all those stem cells and so forth, they don't do as well as we want them to. And so when we look at those, we think, of, well, how can we replace it? And we used to go to the knee and we used to take cartilage from the knee, like a little plug, almost like an apple core. When you make an apple core, you take that central portion of bone and cartilage, and then we, we substitute that for the, for the defect or into the defect. And patients were doing very, very, very well with that also. But we've, again, we've improved on that all the time. Even though these are good, they're not perfect. So we're improving all the time, we're using different types of stem cells, different formulations to improve that. So when a patient comes in to me and says, look, doc, how am I gonna do after this operation? You know, you're gonna do great because you look in the x-ray and think it's fantastic. Well, how am I as the patient gonna do? We can be very, very, very confident because everything we do is evidence-based medicine. There's no sort of hand-waving and a gestalt that this is you're going to do great. We know from data collected here and from our colleagues around the world that well over 90% of patients who either have a reparative uh, surgery or a replacement surgery are going to do very well in terms of getting back to their previous level of activity and being pain-free. So over 90% in any biological environment is excellent. No surgeon can ever say that 100% if they do, perhaps you should go to the surgeon next door because it's, it's impossible as you cannot guarantee uh, biology. But with over 90% success, that's always a good day for me when I come to work.